In First on Five, how laser therapy is helping this smoker kick the habit. Chewing gum, inhalers, nicotine patches. Smokers who want to give up will use just about anything to help them kick the habit. But what about lasers? They're being used as part of a new trial in Scotland. and They've proved so successful that over half of those who've undergone treatment have quit smoking. For First on Five, Maggie Shields reports. He's a clever boy. Six months ago, Annie wouldn't have been able to keep up with grandson Ryan because her 30 cigarettes a day habit puffed her out. Thanks to a pioneering project by Annie's local health board, she stopped smoking after 42 years and a heart attack. The NHS foots a bill of around £1,700 million a year on smoking-related illnesses in the UK. Interestingly enough, a survey of smokers showed that more than half of them felt the government should be doing more to help them quit the habit. Monklands Hospital is doing just that as the first trust in Scotland to offer alternative treatment free on the NHS. Laser therapy is being used on patients following a successful staff pilot. It's well documented that the Monklands area, or this area of Lanarkshire, uh, exceeds all, all figures in heart disease and many respiratory diseases in Europe. It is a relatively young uh, type of therapy at present. However, the evidence that it's now generating for it to do so is making it difficult to ignore. Okay, now what's in the diary for Monklands tomorrow? Oh, we have the results of Anne Penman's laser therapy are impressive. 46% of Monklands staff stopped smoking with her help, compared to 5% on patches, chewing gum or hypnotherapy. Right, John, do you just want to come through? Anne is John Doherty's last hope in his battle to stop smoking. The treatment works on acupuncture points to reduce the craving for cigarettes. John's determination has been mirrored by patients at Monklands. Figures exclusive to Channel 5 show that 52% have stubbed out after a lifetime of lighting up. It's uh, much better than we could have hoped. To actually improve on the results we had from the staff initial survey has actually came as quite a surprise. Bear in mind that over 97 million is spent in Scotland annually on smoking-related disease. What we have here is a very cost-effective, potentially cost-effective measure here. For the price of one coronary artery bypass, we have undertaken this survey. And at present, our, our success rate is around 52%. For the last three weeks, John hasn't smoked and is adamant his smoking days are over. Proofy says that this is the beginning of the rest of his life.